this is my 1990 Chevrolet Beretta. It was a GT, or is a GT. Um, these do not come out with the digital clusters in them generally. I think I've, I've heard of a few. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people had the same trouble I continuously had um, trying to figure out information how to go from analog cluster to a digital cluster. Um, so, basically, I'm going to try to go over the basics in a real quick video. I don't have the, the most time to sit here, so um, it's all just going to be kind of like a, a, a quick run by. Um, what a lot of people want to know is what all do you have to do, what do you need, what wire harnesses do you have to swap, if any. Um, the answer to that question is the only one you need to have is the one behind the dash. You will need the full length wire harness. It runs the entire length of the dash. Um, you will have to replace that. Uh, it's got the plug for the cluster, which is different from the analog, very different. Um, it also has a uh, the plug for your uh, keypad here, um, which I left hanging out intentionally. I'm, I haven't put my my cover back on. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a few things. Um, and it's also got a plug for the outside air air temperature, which um, when you if you pull the wire harness, yours is probably gonna say you know negative 38. Um, if you install it and you get it working correctly simply because there's no ambient air temperature sensor on the vehicles that didn't come with it and I wasn't willing to chase that down and figure out where they'd mounted that on the Beretta I pulled this uh, this cluster this wire harness from in a salvage yard um, so basically uh, you have to pull the dash out there's no way to do it with the dash still in here it's just it's not possible the dash has to come out you got to set it next to the car and flip it upside down um, you're going to have to change the wire harness, which runs the full length of the dash. Um, it's about four feet long, and it's got lots of lots of plugs and wires, of course, and to some people that's just going to be overwhelming. Um, to me, it's quite simple because I'm used to that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I, that's just pretty much what I do. So, um, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to make this as, as easy for everyone else to understand as well. Um, there's two slots for the plugs where the cluster goes. One of them is for the analog, and one of them is for the digital. Um, the analog is uh, the, it's the top slot behind the cluster. Um, it, it went on the top, and the digital plug will mount on the bottom. Now, every Beretta has that mount um, for the second plug because the dash, is, the dash was made by GM knowing that uh, they were going to put a digital cluster in some of them, and they didn't want to have two separate dashes. So once you get the dash out, um, you run, uh, you're going to all the other plugs are the same so once you get your dash out you're going to run all the uh, wires exactly where the old wire harness went you might take some pictures or whatever it takes to help you remember um, and basically once you get that done you can reinstall your dash you're, you're going to have to hook up all your air tubes and everything again because that's all going to come off to get to it um, then you're going to have one plug hanging down underneath your dash and that again that goes to your ambient air temperature sensor that does not route outside um, and I haven't hooked mine up yet, um, but you can go get any an ambient, any ambient air temperature sensor from AutoZone or anywhere like that, um, and wire it in yourself somewhere on the outside of the car, and, uh, and, and you could make that work quite, quite easily. Um, the, like I said, you run your wire to your keypad, um, and everything else is just plug and play. So the only difference between this wire harness is the, the keypad plug, the cluster plug, as well as the, uh, the ambient air temperature sensor plug. Um, you do not have to change your ECM. It is not required. This is my old ECM. It's running my my vehicle just fine. Um, basically, the reason that is is um, this this cluster is a computer itself. It's got a processor and everything in it. That's how they did it back then. So basically, what what happens is this thing receives all the same input and information as the analog cluster. It just computes it differently and displays it differently. So, like I said, all you got to do is go ahead and uh, just just use your old ECM. Um, your wire harness, the new wire harness, will plug directly into it. The plugs are exactly the same. Um, you do not have to change anything under the hood, um, with the exception of that air temperature sensor. There's you don't have to change that wire harness. There's no extra wires. None of none of that. Um, it like I said, all you got to do is the one behind the dash. You've got to. Um, put the cluster plug in the right, the the lower spot spot on the on the dash behind the cluster. Again, run your wire for your keypad, and then you'll have your ambient air temperature sensor. Um, 
then pretty much you start it up at runs and goes. Um, Another thing a lot of people always wondered, well, you know, the mileage is going to be different, and it does read the mileage of the car you took it out of, and that's because there's a mileage chip in the back of the cluster. The ECM does not store the mileage in these cars. It is in the mileage chip in the back of the cluster, um, and and if, if you have a digital cluster already, you can swap that out. Otherwise, you're pretty much out of luck. I'm sure that there's some way to program that. I'm not sure how, and I'm not really that interested. I have, again, lost the mileage of this vehicle. I don't ever plan on selling it. It's going to be mine until it dies, so... Um, I'm really not that worried about the mileage. I already know it had 205 plus when I put it in here, and it's still going strong. Um, and another thing you don't know these 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 clusters, the wire harness is identical for the uh, the 88, 89, and 90 model uh, Corsicas. So if you got a Corsica that that year model, you can swap the wire harness out in there, and the mounts are the same. I think the bottom ears are, are off a little bit, um, but I, you can make it work with a little ingenuity. Um, so if you're interested in that, they never actually came out with those, and of course you'd have to mount your keypad somewhere else, but it is possible, you can do it, um, but like I said, that, that it does take a little bit of work. Um, that, that's, that's pretty much it, I'll leave my personal email address in the link below, and if you want to email me with any questions, I'd be happy to answer them to the best of my ability, like I said, I have done this, I did this all by myself, there was no shop, there was no anyone else. Um, Again, I'm very mechanically inclined, so it may be not as easy of a process for other people, um, but it can be done. It's 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 not it's not too difficult. It's not too hard. Um, and, and like I said, it, it, it took me about six hours. Um, like I said, you got to drop the column and everything, so you do need to provide sufficient time. But but it did. It it, it took me about six hours. So so like I said, make sure you've got time. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to show you about that. Uh, about that plug. I don't know if I can get a good view of it here. But right here where uh, this plug comes out, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see there. There's a hole. That, that hole right there, all of the uh, Berettas um, with, with this dash have that hole in there. And that is uh, for the plug, for the, for the, for the, uh, the control pad for the cluster. So that, like I said, these cars, are pretty much set up already physically for the cluster the only thing you have to do is you do have to change the entire wire harness um, I've read on forums you know you'll you're, you'll hear people saying oh well you know I'll just cut and splice the wire in there well well that doesn't work and let me tell you why um, the wiring wires are different colors they go different places on the cluster um, and and then you also aren't gonna have your air in air ambient air temperature sensor plug and you're also not going to have uh, your keypad plug um it, it there's just no way and i mean and if there is a way it's probably not worth your time and it's going to take you way too long I, I i honestly say if you do not have this wire harness and you can't find one of these cars crash somewhere to obtain the wire harness do not attempt this it will not work um and like i said if, if there's some guy out there that that's what he does all day long and he can make it work good for him um but it, it won't be worth it because you're not you don't have your plugs for your keypad or nothing so you've got to find one of these cars if you can find one and get one made i'm impressed but i i, I called around and couldn't find anyone so i actually hunted this car down at a local lkq and it was sitting in the back just just begging for me it came out of an indy so um uh 89 indy so all right, well, like I said, I'll leave my email in the link below. Feel free to comment, ask any questions. You can email me directly. I will be happy to answer you as best of my ability. Um, I was going to go through all the features the cluster has, but I'm on my way to work. I really don't have time. So I do apologize about the quality of the video. It was on my phone. Um, but go ahead and leave comments uh, below, and uh, hope this helped. Thanks.